get away with that gear. Who knows what she's up to? This thing isn't exactly built for sewer racing, you know. Good. That's not supposed to get wet. How long till she's running, Lab Rat? We need wheels to track down Insectiva. Uh, the GRS-1 isn't gonna be tracking anything down until she gets a complete overhaul. But we've gotta snag Insectiva now. She's got something planned with all those electronics she stole. You gotta fix it. Well, you can't snag her in this. The GRS-1 is so far out of commission, it'd be faster to make you a whole new ride. Hey, that's not a bad idea. <gasps> Did you say new ride? Yeah, you know, something smaller, faster, and with way better handling. Something that can stop on a dime and make change. Ooh, smooth, Ty. And more importantly, keep up with Insectiva, right? Maybe if I started with an insect-inspired design, something that flies like a bee, crawls like a spider, jumps like a grasshopper, and catches Insectiva sometime this year, well, yeah! This new ride is going to be the baddest! <clears throat> uh, the most practical machine for the job. Oh, let's give it a cockroach hood ornament! Yeah, and spinners! <laughs> yes, Abby? Uh, sir, could you please tell Ty and Labrat that we need a practical wow. and a more... Is that a chrome cockroach hood ornament? Madagascar hissing, baby! This is not happening. You guys are gonna add some racing stripes, right? <laughs> Duh. What is it with guys and cars? Let's do this thing. Why is Ty missing dinner? Oh, he's working late at the la 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 la. Uh, he's working late on this dumb car and shop class. He's growing up. Ugh, maybe geeking up. What's so cool about cars anyway? We'll never know, dear. It's a guy thing. But Dad was never into cars. True. Your dad has never been much of a gearhead. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> He's more of a grill head. Hey, who wants a burger?
Wonderful, my exoskeletal soldiers. Now, not even the grossologists will be able to stop me. <laughs> It can stick like a spider. It can fly like a bee. And leap like a grasshopper. I call it the Apoidea Arachnid Orthoptra Mobile. Uh, yeah, I like to call it the Time Mobile. Didn't see that one coming. Well, that's actually pretty cool. But the reason for the 15-speaker stereo is... For tunage. Huh? You know, tunes, tunage. Tunage? Yeah, that'll really help stop Insectiva. Abby? We need to get back on Insectiva's trail. Whatever she's planning isn't going to be good. Uh, I don't know, Abby. The, the time mobile is still experimental. I, I really need to take it out for a shakedown. Right, Labra? Huh? <laughs> Uh, sure. I, I mean, it could always use more tests. Maybe. Back before you know it! Ah! Ooh. Oh, boys and their toys. <laughs> yeah! Okay, looks like she's flying fine. What's your oscillation rate on the B-Wings? 200 beats per second. This thing's cranking. Yeah. Nice. Those B-wings work just like helicopter rotors, constantly adjusting their angle for wicked turns. Well, I'm happy to see the air guitars are working. Oh. Hi, Abby. Ty, get back here and pick me up. Whoa, Abby. I've got Insectiva in my sights. <laughs> Don't let her get away. In this baby, not a chance. <laughs> it's over for you, bug breath. <laughs> You're going to stop me with that pathetic pastiche of scrap metal? Scrap metal? Ha! Huh. Oh, you really think your modern technology can beat millions of years of insect evolution? My time mobile can outcrawl, outrun, and outfly any of your insects anytime, anywhere. My, if I didn't know better, I'd say that was a challenge. <laughs> Maybe it is. Ty, what are you doing? Don't worry. I can figure out Insectiva's plan and field test this baby at the same time. It's perfect, and it'll show us how we... Uh, Ty, she's already gone. Huh? Ah! <laughs> Not yet she isn't. Oh, yeah, kick it, Ty. Not helping. Yes. Follow me. Follow me to your doom. insect breath what this baby can do. Don't worry, I'm all over it. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! The time mobile rules! So, you can fly! Big deal! Can you crawl? You're gonna be sorry you asked. Okay, pull left. Around that boulder. Now throw it into high gear. Yeah, stick those scopuli. 
Scopuli? Scopuli are the little hairs on the claws of a spider that make it able to climb up almost anything. We totally put a mess of them on the time mobile. If Ty's gonna joyride around, at least we can figure out what Insective is planning with all that stuff she stole. Come on, Abby, I'm missing the race. I, I mean mission. I'm missing the mission. <laughs> What's wrong? Afraid of heights? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> So how's it going? Ah, so far, out of Insectiva's stolen electronics, the randomizer has assembled a soft drink defizzer and an automatic toilet blender. I don't think either one of them figures into Insectiva's plan. Keep at it. I'm going out to investigate. Somebody's got to stay on top of this mission. Wait a minute. The GRS-1 is still in the shop. How am I going to get anywhere? Hmm. I've got just the thing. Just the thing. <laughs> My, your machine is faster than I thought. Our design started with a grasshopper's hind legs, and then we made it better. Better? It's impossible to improve upon insects. Yeah? Your bug can only jump 20 times its own length. With a few added rocket boosters, a time mobile can jump 200 times its own length. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Just a little longer, Grossologist. No bug in the world can keep up with me. Ah! Abby, I got it. The components insect of a store can be combined to make ultrasound generators. That's it. It's a perfect match. Insectiva must have planted this during the race. But what's she doing with ultrasound? It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Super Geek. Uh-oh. Not a happy sound. in to man's pathetic attempt to best of nature. <laughs> it says here that locusts, crickets, and grasshoppers fly away from ultrasound because it imitates the echolocation of bats. Of course. That's one of their natural predators. Wait, so Insectiva built this ultrasound generator to keep insects away? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. She loves insects. There's something we're missing. <laughs> oh, finally! It begins! Uh, whatever she's planning, we're about to find out. Come out, my chitinous creatures. Your new home awaits you in the city!
least the stereo still works. Please tell me you can fix the rest of it. Uh, uh, try the spider legs. My baby. That's our baby. And repairs are gonna take a while. Each spider leg has seven segments, you know. Grossologists, we have a situation. Don't I know it? No kidding. Guys, Insectiva's ultrasound generator is causing bugs to go crazy out here. You haven't caught her yet. Someone was busy with their new car. If the director's being swarmed, then Insectiva's bringing grasshoppers into the city. If she's got those generators scattered all around, she can turn them on and off, driving those bugs wherever she wants. But those things Insectiva had didn't make any sound. Not to us. Humans can't pick up ultrasound, but bugs sure can. Let me bring up a map of all the sources of ultrasound in the city. <gasps> there are hundreds of them. It's ingenious and evil. Really, really evil and bad. <laughs> the whole race was just so she could plant these things in some kind of pattern. Ty. I'm sorry, okay? I didn't think a little showing off would hurt anyone. You can be sorry later. Now stop insecticide before. <laughs> Grasshoppers are driving everybody out of the city. Yeah, the perfect plan. It'll be the capital of Insectiva's insect empire. With her as their queen. Enjoying yourselves, city dwellers. <laughs> well. The party's just getting started! We gotta get away from these bugs! Maybe if we rise above the situation. Phew! Finally bug free! For all these locusts, Ugh. We need to find Insectiva now! She's probably somewhere high, so her control unit signal will reach the farthest. Uh, so it's gotta be Mount Cowpie. Ugh, oh, and there she is. Come on, you can do it! <laughs> she who controls insects controls the world. Oh! Oh, that's me! <laughs> Not for long. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, big trouble. Happy crashing. Not again. We're going over. Too close. It's about to get even closer. <laughs> we can't fight these bugs ourselves. I wish I had one of those ultrasound generators. Happy birthday, Ty. Oh. Abby, one's never going to be enough. No, not unless we plug it into a 15-speaker stereo. Are you nuts? That'll blow the system. Then what am I supposed to use for my tunage? Tunage or a horrible death. Your choice, Ty. Well, I've always wanted to see how loud this baby goes. Give up your pitiful attempts to save yourselves. Working! The bugs are retreating! No, no! Attack my lovely locust! Attack! Insectivus Ultrasound can't stand up to 10,000 watts of pure power. Pay 
for that. Ugh. Next time, Glossologists. Next time! I present to you the Repair GRS-1. Finally! Ah, it even has that new GRS-1 smell. Hi? Um, I can rebuild it. Sure, Ty. We'll make a new one soon. Yeah, and this time it'll have 20 speakers and dragonfly wings and extra chrome and hydraulics. We're talking the best time mobile ever. Oh boy, I can't wait. But if we're gonna do this, the name's gotta change. I'm thinking the Radipult. Uh, Radipult? <laughs> That's way worse than Timemobile. Says you. Says Come me. Come on. How's that any worse a name Radipult? than Timemobile? Huh? Boys and their toys. Timemobile. Radipult. Radipult. <laughs>